guys welcome back to weekly reads and i just have 15 minutes left to go for my other call and we have a lot to cover in this weekly reads so before i start the weekly reads my previous video is a zoom chat with sean the book maniac yes i already feel like a celebrity go ahead check that out and if you do not know who sean is then you should know who sean is because he recommends books that are totally out of this world like it's like we are peasants and he's like the recommendation god and he's like giving us all these recommendations that we've never heard of all the authors and the books we've never heard of it's just so beautiful and it's just too unique so he does does deserve more subscribers in general so go ahead check out his channel i'll link it down below as well as well as i'll link it up above so go ahead check it out please please do the honors so now that we are done with that particular one let's move on to the weekly reads part of the video honestly this is like my most busy weekly reads ever because i actually finished four books last week and this week i'm reading four books as well so it's just like a whole cycle now i think like it's kind of um, understandable because i do read like multiple books at a time and i should not be surprised but then i'm surprised because i've never ever like i would say read four books in a week and then i'm announcing it on the video so it's like a new thing for me so let's jump to all the books that i've read uh, in the past week right and i'm in loss of words literally i mean i'm just like shooting this impromptu so let's just get started the first book that i finished on 16th of september so i finished it on the day my last weekly reads came out uh, and that's why i couldn't include it in that particular video uh, it is um chosen spirit by samit basu now honestly i have already spoken a lot about this book it's about a dystopian in india it's about a lot of stuff and if you want to know my like my thoughts in the book you will have to wait till the wrap up or you can check out my good reads as well my good reads is here but the point is this book is amazing and if you're an indian you should read it it will be highly relatable for you it is one of the few books that set in dystopian india lovely book amazing so the next book i finished was who they was by gabriel krauser and I mean I'm so happy that I even got to discuss this book with Gabriel Krauser himself as a part of the Book a Boy book club and it was like a wonderful conversation all of course like because of some reasons we cannot like you know put it out publicly but for those of you who follow me on Instagram I did put like a screenshot of the same it's just amazing he's just an amazing person he's very humble very down to earth and I think the best part about the like up gabriel himself is that he's amazing and it was a very engaging conversation we had a lot of fun and honestly again and again i keep repeating this but who they was was a gem and it should have been shortlisted for the man booker prize 2020 so moving on from that one the next book i actually finished was this one this one is called the search for it by patrick modiano patrick modiano is a french writer who's won the nobel prize in literature and this is one of his non fiction type books because it talks about a missing girl called dora bruder she actually went missing in 1941 during the german occupation of um, france and it basically talks about how this young jew girl she was a jew and how she ran away presumably or how she's missing and how the author is trying to find her in the late 1990s this was actually published in french in i think 1997 or so um after the author had done his research and it was recently i think in 2014 that it was translated to english so i think this is like one of those rare books that you should read and it gives you a good glimpse about the german occupation uh during world war 2 so that's that uh the next book that i finished was i'm just trying to remember the book a little life by hanya yanagi hara how can i forget this i mean honestly i already shot a video on this book like i finished this book on 19th of september that saturday and 20th of september when was when we had to discuss it for the group read and i finished it at 2:30 am in the night exactly 2:26 am but yeah like it, let, let's go for 2:30 am for now but honestly this book just like like i'm just like i cried okay i cried you guys like ah uh, i cried six to seven times while reading this book and i know many youtubers booktubers have made like their vlogs reading a little life and if i would have made a vlog like i i did not want to make a vlog like that because i thought it's just like 
bit mainstream i think maybe this is just me i normally don't like crying on camera but i'm a huge cry baby so i just cry like in my bed wherever i'm reading and i was like crying at night i honestly it's like a very heavy book and it is a book that everyone should read once in their lifetime like if you love sad books this is the book for you this is the book that you have to read foof and don't be scared the point is that the inevitable will anyway happen you will anyway cry so please guys please read it thank you so much now let's move on to the vid the videos the books that i'm reading currently damn what's wrong with me okay so um the books that i'm reading currently are the first book that i'm reading currently is this one uncle's aunt's elephants by raskin bond so i'm kind of like way within the book and there's a tab here because i've been separating some stuff but that being said i kind of like read this after reading a little life because i was very traumatized and that day i could not read anything um i read this till like the afternoon time it's a very light book i'll still be reading this i'm not sure passively actively i'm not sure but i want to finish this soon so yeah this is the first book that i'm reading and i'm done with it like 25% so we are good with that the next book that i'm reading is girl in white cotton by avni doshi finally reading this in a very active manner and i'm liking it so far i love avni doshi's writing it's like very i don't know it just sucks even and it's very interesting and i don't know many people many indians actually even dnf the book don't ask me why but it was very weird and i need to see why would indians dnf this book because uh, i have seen this before as well like with arvind adiwas white tiger where many indians don't like that book especially it's a very controversial book especially in india among the reading community but the point is why is this controversial i need to know i need to read let's i'll let you know after i read the book anyway the next book that i'm reading is the new wilderness by diane cook so far i like this book i am done with like 10% of the book i'm listening to the audiobook <coughs> excuse me i love it so far because it has a very dystopian tone to it it talks about a time where um, the outside climate in general is not like a good time to live and that's why there are a group of people who retreated to the wilderness to the jungles the last of it that stays and it talks about this community that's trying to make its life in the wilderness and this whole thing so it's very interesting so far again i've heard many people who dnf this at 50% i don't know why don't ask me i need to find it out myself so yeah i mean this is my thing right that whichever book has been shortlisted for the booker i need to at least read it and see for myself whether i will like it or not or whether i feel that that's a booker worthy book or not because i have uh as of now like i'm only read chitsi dangarembas um book which is here whose name i forget yeah this monable body and that's why it's just that you know i mean i don't feel it's like a book a book but uh, like someone pointed it out um before sometime before uh, on my comment section i think it was madeline who did that she said that this book being in the book of shock list will be like a calling out to the Zimbabwean government because the author has been arrested for protesting, so that's not a good thing. That's not a cool thing. So I think this book will help um, them. The author, sorry, will help Sitsi Dangarembe. Anyway, I'm just a bit distracted because I have to get on a call right now and I'm shooting this, so it's just like I'm just like wary of the time right now. So let's let let's move on to the next book. So the next book that I'm reading is like the final book that I started like of recent. It is Full Fall by Hilary Mantel. So what if Mirror and the Light was not shortlisted? I still wanted to read this book, so I'm reading this book. Plus, this is a part of my readathon, uh, which is the fresh of my shelf readathon. So yeah, this is actually the fresh of my shelf because I said that I want to read like the first book in the series, and this is like the latest book that I have that's in a series. So it's nice. It's nice so far, but I don't want to get like confused with respect to the characters because it's a very very deep and an intriguing book. And the first thing I see in the book are family trees, and I'm like, damn, how do I remember family trees now? So it's just like a whole new experience for me, especially with Wolf Hall. So I think yeah, that is it for my weekly read, and I hope to finish all these four books this month. And I'll be talking about all the books that I read this month in detail in my wrap up. So don't worry if you've not got a glimpse or anything. Also, you can check out my Instagram because over there I've started posting these book quote stuff, 
I'm just promoting my Instagram right now so you can go and check it out yourself. So yeah, I think that's it for my video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.